Okay, very good morning, my dear friends. Very good morning. Uh, welcome to today's session. So, in botany free online coaching, our government degree college for women, Jagithyal, and RBRR Women's College, Hyderabad, and SRR College, Karimnagar. This tri college is going to conduct this, uh, conducting this online free coaching is utilized you know, fruitfully. Today's uh, resource person, Dr. A. Rajini Madam Garu, will uh, explain clearly about Thalas organization in Pi College. Madam, please uh, start the session. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Good morning, students. In the last class, I'll explain to the class. The other disturbance is there, sir. Hello? Madam, please proceed. Hmm, sir, sir. Disturbance is there, sir. It's side mention. Mute chest and madam, please you proceed. Okay, 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 thank you, sir. Yeah, in the last class, I'll explain to the Thales organization. In that uh, Thales meaning, what is the what is the meaning of Thales? The Thales is called uh, undifferentiated into the plant body. The name is called Thales. Here, the basic of Thales. So in the last class, I'll explain to the this one unicellular and multicellular. What is unicellular? How to what, what type of examples you can study it in that one? I'll explain to the complete explanation are completed. And the same like that uh, multicellular also. In the last class, I think this one. Multicellular uh, algae, one is a colonial form. The second one is the filamentous form. Third one is called the siphonaceous form. Last one is the parenchymata form. Uh, in this one, in the multicellular uh, algae, what is enobium? The defined number of structure, uh, the, the shape and structure is found that one, that is a synobia. Best example, volvox. In that volvox, many flagellas are present. The second thing is the hydrodictyon. This hydrodictyon, uh, here, uh, this one also synobium, the number of defined number of cells are present, but all are the flagellas are absent. The palmelide stage is the tetraspora. See here, the palmelide stage is the tetraspora. This one, tet uh, this is a tetraspora or palmella. And the dendroid is called uh, chrysodendron. And the rhizopodial is the, this is the chrysodendron. And the last one, rhizopodial colonies. These are all completed in the last class. And here also, multicellular filamentous forms also. This again to divided into the filament form. First one, unicellular, multicellular. In the multicellular, filamentous bodies. Uh, and uh, in the filamentous, uh, the branches and unbranched and branches, both are two present. Again, two divided into two parts. One is the unbranched, second one is the branched. Unbranched, again, two divided in three parts. First one is a free floating. Second one is uh, attached to the any substratum. Please unmute yourself. Yeah, okay, okay, sir. Now it's okay. Hello. It's okay. Please proceed. Hello. Yes. 
your audio okay. please proceed okay, okay sir multicellular filamentous forms are two types one is unbranched second one is the branched what is unbranched again to divided into three parts one is the free floating where the spirogyra or the best example of unbranched that is the spirogyra the second one attached to the substratum some of algae to attach to the any substratum like that uh, rocks uh, and uh, another animal plant body like that and the last one is the colonial form in that one some colonies are present in that colony but uh, in the wall box also colony but that colony this colony is too different what is main ear flagella is totally absent in that colonies example is a nostoc and the second one is the branched uh, the in the multicellular filamentous the second part uh, first one you can study the unbranched system second one is the branching you are again to divided into branches one is a true branch is there second one is the false what is the false branch see here this one the let's explain no this part is the uh, unbranched the multicellular filamentous branched filament in the branched filament uh, false branch what is the that one ma that is called the false branch and true branch see cytonema is a false branch you see both are to combine with together but this branch is called this branch is uh, not true that's why this branch name is called the false branch the second thing is the uh, branching system what is the second one true branching system here is again these two branches are two divided into the simple true branch heterotrichous true branch simple is this one is a cladophora is the simple this one ma this is the simple multicellular simple branched best example cladophora the second one pseudo parent uh, sorry second one is the heterotrichous heterotrichous so best example ectocarpus coleocete both are the examples for the heterotrichous form in that heterotrichous form uh first one is the uh, example ectocarpus this is a ectocarpus and second one is the coleocete ectocarpus to divided into the two branches so what is the one is a projecting this one is a prostrate system or creeping system and the second this part is called erect system or this is a projecting system that's where these the total this type of thallus multicellular branched what is that one multicellular branched heterotrichous form true branches but heterotrichous form that is under here both two you can observe one is a projecting system second one is a creeping system and the next example is coleocete this one is the coleocete uh, last and final one pseudo parenchymata here two divided into the two part one is the uniaxial the second one is a multiaxial uniaxial this is the bracteospermum all our tissues or the talus to maiden are the uh, parenchymata tissue pseudo parenchymata tissue and the last one multiaxillar only uniaxillar is there you know uniserrate or uniaxillar part the second thing is the multiaxillar uh, the best example polysiphonia rhodophysi member poly meaning many siphonous meaning tube like formation see they can observe the thallus of polysiphonia branching are there true branching these are two branches and each and the total plant structure siphonous form or tube like forms are there many siphonous to form that's why the name is called polysiphonous form and the siphonous form of algae multi cellular without separation except during the formation of reproductive organ the these two are the wachiria and botridia both are the multi cellular thallus without separation except during the formation of reproductive organ that's where that this is the another siphonous form example wachiria and bracteosperma and another one is the parenchymata form parenchymata form the these are the some areas to utilizing to the solids and the uh, many uh, many uh, to grow to the the seeds like this part uh, your vegetative cells divide to two or more plant uh, plants and the productive to the separate resulting 
this formation this is called the total to fill with the parenchyma tissue that's where this is a phallus is called parenchyma phallus this one is the alva and second one is the sargassum alva is the edible part and sargassum is the seaweed sargassum is called seaweed and see here uh, how many algal phallus images sensor this is a euglena this one is a flagella is present this one chlamydomonas see these all are chlamydomonas flagella is there and this one is a chlorella flagella is two of sino this is a coccus form these are the these motile this one is the motile form this is a non motile form but coccus yes coccus form and spirogyra filamentous and unbranched filamentous plant body but unbranched raman tudra yeah hello sir hello me the perfect already ana afternoon continue just hum sir Madam, what happened? 